Hey guys, Hitman X Xenolar here. A few disclaimers before I begin with this. Um, I'm sick. Deal with it. My mic sucks. Deal with it. And I'm a casual player. And you'll realize why I'm saying that as soon as I start scrolling down and you see some of the cards I have in my deck. And if I get quiet at some point, it's because I'm drinking this generic brand water, not sponsored. Uh... <laughs> And I'm just extremely thirsty, and I don't know why. But anyways, here we go with the deck. This is my Nessa Fraley's uh, Shaman of the Pack Elf combo deck that I love to brag about on my Twitter account. Um, I've made people quit playing Magic for a while after playing this deck. I've made people rage over this deck. I've made people, like, you know, look up card rulings because I thought I was cheating after I combo out, which is crazy. It's only happened actually, like, twice. Um, I played this deck in my LGS. I'm currently 2-3 and three at my LGS with this deck. And like, I've just had some rough times in my LGS. At school, I'm undefeated with this deck, which is pretty amazing because one of the people that I faced in my LGS beat me, but then I beat him at school. I, I don't know either. Anyways, so here's the deck. Basically, what you want to do is you want to ramp mana with Death Ray Shaman, Elvish Arch Druid, Funeral Elves, Life Spring Druid. Grab as much mana as you can. Now, of course, you can't do that. Without your mana base. By the way, another quick disclaimer: Yeva is not in my deck. Uh, Elvish Arch Druid is in my deck. Two of them, to be exact. So, acts like Yeva doesn't exist. Okay, not there. Just put a giant X there. Uh, mana base. This is how you get your creatures down. Duh. Uh, a couple bayous, forests, a lot of green stuff, and the reason for that is not a lot of black has to do with the combo. But if you have to do something like risky, like you don't cast your Deathrite Shamans, then that's what the black mana is for. Or if you have to cast like Liliana or something that has black mana in it, there you go. Um, Box Emerald and Jet, Black Lotus, Mana Ramp. Uh, this is a vintage deck, obviously. And again, I'm a casual player. I don't play competitive. I'm waiting. Anyone just has to ask in the comments. I've already said that twice now. Uh, Aether Flux Reservoir. Uh, you want to ramp life with Nessa, which is another strategy I can use, and it's also my backup plan. And just hit 50, hit 50, hit 50, hit 50, because I've had like 400 life with this deck just because of Nessa, and I slam with 50, and I'll bring myself down to as low as I want to, and basically just annihilate my opponent. Orb is awarding, way to protect yourself. Demonic Tutor, way to search out your combo pieces if you don't have them, such as Nessa Frey Elise. Uh, Maybe you want to search out another demonic tutor. I don't know why you do it, but go for it. <laughs> um, I wish Promenade, waiting more elves down, Primal Command, Life Gain, search out for a creature. If you're going to search out for a creature with Primal Command, I recommend uh, Dwynan or Azuri, because Azuri is basically the way the game ends. And Dwynan's overall just a great card, more life gain. Sylvan Scrying, basically the way to get your lands down quickly and efficiently without playing stupid stuff like Explosive Vegetation. Uh, Freilis, Nissa, you want to combine these two because these two work so well together. Uh, Freilis, put some elves down, ramp mana, dig for cards if you have to. You know, if you don't have Nessa or you need like that demonic tutor or something, start digging. Liliana, another way to demonic tutor basically. I rarely use her ult, I've only used it once, and it was, a, generally speaking, a bad idea. But, uh, uh, Nissa, life ramp, and. The ult with the combo, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, Leyline, a way to get some of your creatures out of bolt range. A way to ramp life. Othanissa, a way to get your planeswalkers in your hand and down. Privileged position, a way to protect your permanents. More importantly, your combo pieces and your lands. Because as I play sometimes, I realize a lot of people like to play land destruction at my LGS. So, uh, instance, Vines of Vastwood, you combine that with Azuri's ability and game's usually over. Uh, sideboard, Abrupt Decay, uh, great removal spell, cheap removal spell, get rid of some of the pesky small things that people love to play. Coat of Arms, way to get aggro, which is another way you can win with the deck. Uh, Dash Hopes and Pack Negation are essentially your lifelines. Do not use Pack Negation if you don't feel comfortable using it. I tend not use it too much, unless I know that I'm going to dig for Lotus first before I do anything else. Uh, Eyelight Massacre. Just overall great card against, you know, some tribal decks that don't run elves. <sighs> Golgari Charm, 
enchantment destruction, get rid of small creatures, and stuff like, you know, regenerate your creatures, which is very useful. Second harvest, a way to get all the tokens that you're getting down from all your creatures, just multiply them. Now, the main purpose of the deck, Shaman of the Pack. Now, what Shaman of the Pack states is when it enters the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to number of elves you control. So what you want to do, this is very important, so listen up. Let me take a quick drink real quick. Is you want to get Nissa's ult right away. Now, depending on the deck you're playing, from experience, I've lost playing against decks that run like Jace the Mind Sculptor, Jace Memory Adept, or Grindstone, something like that, because I make the mistake of grabbing all my elves. What you want to do is you want to grab some of your elves. Again, depending on how comfortable you feel with grabbing a bunch of elves, grab some elves. And it also depends on what your board looks like. So what you want to do, ult Nissa. Not as soon as possible, but get her up to like 8 or 9 before you ult her. Maybe 10 if you have to. If you're afraid your opponent's running like a bolt or something like that. Uh, grab as many L's as you want. Not as you, you know, need. As you want. This is a want and a need. That's a key word here, people. Uh, grab as many L's as you want. Put them all down. First, Shaman of the Pack. Shaman of the Pack. Shaman of the Pack. From experience, I've dealt. 50, 60 damage at most, at the least, I've comboed too early, to test out what it's like to combo too early, and I've done like 4 damage, 10 damage, 20 damage, but my opponent would have like 30, 40 life by the time I do that minuscule amount of damage. Um, so that you want to deal as much damage as possible with the combo without trying to kill yourself against like mill decks or some control decks, which are annoying. Now, another way you can win with this deck, uh, just go aggro, throw in coat, throw in a few other cards if you need to, like Abrupt Decay. Uh, just ramp your creatures, get Elvish Archer Druid down, get Dwinan down, get Imperius Perfect down, get Azuri down, especially Azuri is usually the creature that ends the game. If I have to go aggro and the combo doesn't work, it's usually just Azuri ability, ability, ability hit you for like a frick ton you're dead hopefully please just be dead um in my lgs i've never won the aggro way i've lost twice the aggro way as a matter of fact that's a story for another time so like, i hate myself both times um uh, at school the aggro way again has always worked i'm undefeated at school with this deck um i've made people quit early in the game because they know that if i just combo nissa it's game um, but overall, this is a fine deck, uh, it needs some work, obviously, so if you have any suggestions, or you want to just hit me up with some small feedback, uh, let me know if you have a deck on Mana Stack, again, not sponsored by that either, um, let me know, I'll try to find it, and I'll showcase the deck. And if you want to see any more of my uh, infamous Twitter bragging decks, uh, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, follow me, I'm HitmanXZLR at Hitman underscore XZ. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.